welcome to our Sprout Core animation tutorial. Today I'm going to be taking you through recreating the MacBook Air effect that's found on Apple's website. The effect that I'm referring to is this one right here where the uh, black fades out to reveal the uh, web page and the words pop in. And this effect is very very easy to create in Sprout Core. Uh, using uh, the SE animatable mixin. It's a very powerful mixin. And let's get started. First, we want to start at our build file. Here, what uh, we're doing is we're telling the uh, application to load the animation uh, framework folder inside uh, the Spellcore, the main Spellcore app. So we can use the SE animatable mixin which we'll be using to create all our CSS effects. So in our resources, I created an image folder. Inside there, I have the images that I'll be using for the tutorial. Just basic PNG files. And let's get started. I'll show you our main page JS here. Very basic. Uses a uh, background color here that I set to white. It's just a view. Have a top bar here. Uh, top bar is just a toolbar, and it's this one right here. And uh, it's set the visibility to zero. I don't want it to be visible until I call, um, until I call it. It's introducing the uh, SC animatable mix in here, and uses the transition, the opacity, the duration of that uh, opacity change. It's going to be set to 4 here. And it's going to use the SC animatable um, transition SC, uh, CSS ease. So it gives it that nice ease effect. Also have a view here that's uh, called the uh, black view here. And again, it's using the uh, SE animatable because it's one that it's a view that we're going to want to animate. Same setup, transition, opacity, except this one has a duration of five. And we're using the SE animatable ease as well. Set the background color to black here. <laughs> and following that, I have the uh, the air view, which will display. Um, this image view and it points to uh, resources, images, air2. After that we have our uh, title view, also image view. It's pointing to the resource folder next gen. That's basically this uh, these aren't uh, label views, it's just a image that uh, will be fading in, uh, and it's called. So I set it up so that the uh, parent view is going to be animatable and the, the image view is not. I found doing it this way, um, the animation is a little smoother. Again, um, I set the visibility to zero, or to no. <coughs> because I don't want it to show on load. I don't want this to show and I don't want the top bar to show. All I want is this image and the uh, that black view to show. So that's a basic main page setup. <laughs> Not much to it, only a few lines of code. Um, let's move into our main JS here. Here we have a basic line that just states that we're going to be calling a start function on load. You know, our main, our main JS is uh, where we can start to get this uh, function going. And basically this function is going to be a preset function, sets up all the uh, opacities and it's going to start our animation. Let's go to our animation controller here. So our animation controller has uh, just basic array controller. 
but here is that start function that's being called by uh, our main. And what it does is uh, on load, it sets our title, um, the opacity, to zero, so it's not being seen. Sets that top bar to zero as well. But what it does is it also invokes the uh, the visibility to be true. The reason I set this invoke to delay is I want the opacity to start first and then the visibility to be shown afterwards. So I did that with both the title and the top bar. This line right here is uh, using the invoke statement to call um, a function, the any function. So after this loads then we're calling this uh, this any function, and it's just using the uh, uh, it's calling the function here with this any, and it's and we're just telling it how long to uh, to call it, how long we want to wait before we call it. So once this is called, uh, we're saying take that black view and change the opacity to zero. So it changes it to zero, but it's using this duration time. So it's telling us how long the animation is going to be. So here, it's telling it to be about five. So the animation just doesn't have a pop effect. It slows it down. And we're doing the same thing with title here, except we're changing the opacity um, to one. Remember, we set it to zero in the start function. And uh, we're using uh, the top bar to do the same, which is set it to 1. Again, it's using the, uh, the duration time here of 4, so uh, they come in at the same time. And it gives it that nice uh, CSS effect, which is this one right here. And there you have it. Um, there's a lot of functions that can be used uh, that SE Animator we can use with. Um, you can use transform, you can use scale, you can use um, all kinds of different uh, different settings. It's a very very powerful mixing, uh, one that uh, I find is very useful and can do a lot of great things. There's a lot of documentation on that encourage you to read up on that and I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial.